Hey everybody, uh, we're gonna show you the, the mirror changes today. I think they're pretty strong. I did pause at the start. All right, cool. Cause I had to restart my game. Let's see, we're against Hades. I'm not a fan of fighting Hades, but that's okay. So the Ymir changes, I think are pretty strong. The The fact that Ymir's passive will last six seconds now instead of four seconds is pretty big because now you can clear the, the minions properly at the start without having to, uh, having to use your freeze, which is pretty big. And then also the fact that his passive will reduce your opponent's damage by 15%. It was 10%, so 15% is not a big difference, but 15%, you know, it's, it's a good amount if you use it before your opponent uses their ultimate or something. You know, that's not including protections. I still think using freeze on the minions is probably best. You probably wouldn't have to, but you want to get as fast of clear as possible. Now, against Hades, I would say Hades wins this matchup. We will try our best, obviously. But because he insta-clears, it kind of gives us some problems. Alright. Yeah, if I get his beads that fast, that easily, I'm down. I'm cool with it. He's obviously going to out-sustain us in all this pretty easily. Yeah, it's way too hard to contest with him. You use my freeze just so I can kill these with one auto, rather than multiple autos. Oh, that goes through walls? Ooh, I didn't know that. I have Hades Diamond, I didn't know that. Should be able to kill him. Cool. So I made use of the extra passive there. I wonder if the extra 5% helped a lot there as well. But I, I was able to punch him longer with just my two on him. And I didn't have to waste my freeze so early. Like, even even just situations like that. Like, I might have been able to get the kill before the buff. But it, it makes a difference. It does make a difference. This is my first game playing with the changes. I really think it makes a difference. Alright, now let's back. So, obviously, that combined with the previous Ymir changes, and he's a lot better. I think both of them by themselves are alright, but you add them together, and it's like... Actually, let's get these. They're actually pretty good. I didn't need to sell my potion, because I was going to go cooldown, and I was, well, maybe I just want the extra damage. Uh, hello? I want this. The only thing is our beads are down for his ultimate. I think the strategy against Hades is when you're in his ult to time your ult so that it hits right when Hades ult ends. That way he doesn't get the additional protections. Also, his escape's down right now. This is a good good time to go on, go on him. I have speed buff. Oh, okay. Whatever. Could also use my ult to secure red. <clears throat> Just depends. Where did he go? Did he go all the way to his blue buff? Oh my god. No, he's just in lane. Oh, that was a useless too. It's zero damage. Let's use our potion. If that hit, I think I would have been able to kill him. But he did not hit, so that's fine. Like, obviously, with my ult, I still had quite some damage, but it's not enough. We do need to be careful. We are running out of mana. I missed it, lol. No. Can I punish him, though? That's the question. Looks like I can punish him to me. He was just too low mana. If he picked up... Nah, if he picked up the blue buff, he would have been even more out of position. Then he might have had enough mana to get away. 
Alright, let's recall. Yeah, I'm li I'm liking these Ymir changes. I'm liking them quite a bit. Soul Gem, you know, Soul Gem sounds pretty cool here, but... Let's go... Well... Let's try something new. Let's try something new. Soul Gem's a little cheaper. It gives some cooldown to make up for the cooldown I don't have on my shoes. And then also... It's just good, nice little burst damage against Hades. I don't think I'm going Typhoons this game, so I think it's fine. Didn't want him to to uh, fear me there. Should be able to take his minis, yes. Also, let's talk uh, after our last Airbender bu bundle. How do you guys feel about it? I think it's awesome. I think they did a really, really, really good job. Um, one, one thing I noticed today was they actually have avatars for... Our avatar in games. I'm sorry, avatar profile pictures. That's probably better. That way it's not confusing. They have profile pictures for Sokka, Azula, Katara. Like, a bunch of uh, Toph as well. So I didn't know that. I feel like they should have advertised that a little more. Because just having something for those characters in the game is pretty awesome. That auto attack cancel. Should be able to kill him here. He could have ulted for the extra protections, but I don't know how much it would have done. Soul Gem's only doing like 32, but he is killing me. We can probably take this wave. All right, let's let's go with pestilence. I'd say we are gonna want some CCR. Well, actually, let's go shoguns. Shoguns. We want CCR. That way, his when he fears us, he doesn't put us so out of position. But we also want anti heal. I'm probably gonna go with toxic blade, divine ruin. This this game, maybe pestilence on top. Probably not. Might be too much defense. Also, I want to let you guys know I am having a tournament on the 25th. It will be at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or 1 p.m. Eastern. And I'll be streaming it on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash hatmaster. It'll be a A plus and below tournament. I think it'll be really fun. Also single defense only. So if you guys want to come by and watch that, you are all welcome to. If you want to join in future tournaments, all you got to do is pretty much uh, follow the Twitch channel. Because right now I have the requirements that... You have to be following the Twitch channel for three months or subbed on the Twitch channel. I don't know if that'll be the case for future tournaments, but yeah, that's that's what it is right now. He just got that. I don't want him to get this buff either. Wow, okay. Alright, buddy. Come on! Ha ha ha! Just barely calculated. Just barely calculated. Very cool. <clears throat> Should be able to get this because of Hunter's Blessing. I like the Soul Gem, but I think Bancroft should still be stronger. I just want to try something newish. I think late game it'll be strong because it gives, what, 40% of your magical power? So as I get a bunch more damage, it'll, it'll hit like another ability almost. But then again, it's like, why get Soul Gem when you get Poly, right? All right, let's get a Toxic Blade next because I do want some auto attack plus some movement speed. Also, I think a Blink would be great here just to when he dashes away or a leaps away, I can just Blink on him and punish him. Oh, is he taking red? That's fine. I don't really care. He's on that side of the map. Actually, if I just kind of let him do his own thing and ward here, I have a good Demon King secure. 
And the only way he can really steal it is if he dashes in, which would put him in a position for me to kill him. And I have my beads up, so this is pretty safe to do. Making Demon King so much better now. Now that you can auto attack for so much longer with Frostbite. The Frostbite buff's really good for taking objectives like that. I don't know if I timed it correctly, but you can kind of hold on to your, your freeze better. I wanted my freeze in case he leaked in and then obviously switch it to secure. Okay. Should be able to punish him here. Very cool. Yeah, I think he had a tiny window to uh, get out there, but nope. Yeah, this is this is going well. Uh, I'd say normally Hades can win this, but we got a nice snowball and we are able to able to punish him. I think the hardest part about this matchup is usually Hades' fear, but he's not using it right. He keeps he keeps silencing me instead of fearing me because he's not applying his blight. He leaped in, so he has no escape. Alright, that's fine. He's a little too tanky. I don't have enough pen. Hunter's Blessing helps a ton for this. That Shogun CCR is huge. You know what, the Frostbite buff will, will actually help a ton with taking Titan as well. Now what I'm wondering is, is Ymir S- minus now? Because I honestly believed he was A+, plus before. I don't know if these changes would push him to S-, minus, but he was already pretty good. I think people underestimate, even after all these years, people underestimate Ymir. And now after the buffs, I think he'll properly be uh, assessed. All right, now let's get, what, demon? Demonic? All right, all right. Just for some pens, since we're going to auto attack build, then we can finish it off with the divine ruin and then sell our boots for maybe a rod. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get pestilence. Ooh, that attack speed. Just placed a ward. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, alright. Let our fire minions push, I get it. Oh, he went that way. He's not expecting that. The windmill, you beer! 1400 from 11 autos. I love it, man, I love it. Also, I think this is the patch that minions were nerfed, so they're finally back to what they used to be, which is which is good, but also... Oh, you know what? Item got buffed. Tyrannical. I'm going to have to try Tyrannical Ares again. Tyrannical Empress. <laughs> the minions may not be as strong, but Tyrannical is pretty good now. 20% increased health for minions. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this game, and I hope you guys feel as I do with Ymir, with the Ymir changes. I think, I think they're pretty good. I think in most situations, if you were to get a kill, you'll still get a kill in those situations. If you were not to get a kill, you're still probably not going to get the kill in those situations. But the very the ones that are super borderline, the super borderline kills where it's close, you'll definitely get them. And the ones where you barely just didn't get the kills before, I think you'll get them as well. Because like, let's say your passive ran out and you're losing that double damage. Or also they're doing too much damage to me, you know? Or to you. Yeah, but cool game, cool game. And I'll probably upload some games of the new skins, but, you, you know, it'll, it'll take a while. But thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.